Welcome back to Missetti's Math Movies, where it's a cute to be a square. Today's lesson is 6.1, Polygons. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to identify and describe polygons, as well as find angle measures in quadrilaterals. A polygon is a plane figure. See a polygon is plane, and plane I mean flat, not plane as in boring, or symbol, but plain as in flat figure that is formed by three or more segments called sides. That connect endpoints called vertices. So there's our three words in there, polygon, sides, and vertices. A polygon is a plane figure, a flat figure that is formed by three or more segments called sides that connect at endpoints called vertices. So let's draw a picture. So at least three sides. So in this case, I've got five. So this is a polygon. These are the sides. I've got five sides. And then we have five vertices. Right there are my vertices. Right? Or singular is a vertex. This is a side. That's a vertex. Now to name this, let's put some points on here. A, B, C, D, E. To name this, we have to start at one point and go all the way around clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. So we could start at C and we could name this C, D, E, A, B if we wanted. But we can't jump around. If you're going to name it, you got to start at one, follow it all the way around. The diagonal is a segment. that joins non-consecutive vertices. So non-consecutive means not next to. So you pick two vertices that are not next to each other, like C and E, and you connect them. That is a diagonal. a segment that joins non-consecutive vertices. So here they want us to draw a four-sided shape. See, one, two, three, four. So it can look like whatever we want. A, B, C, D. Remember when we name it, we gotta go all the way around the same direction. Name all the vertices. The vertices are just these points, these end points. So A is one, B is one, C is one, D is one. Name the sides. Well, this is a side, AB. BC is a side, CD is a side, and DA is a side. Name all the diagonals. So let's draw the diagonals. We've got to connect the vertices that are not next to each other. So AC is one diagonal. And BD is one diagonal. Example one, identify polygons. Is the figure a polygon? Explain your reasoning. Well, look, we've got straight sides that are all connected. So this is yes. Here, polygons are not allowed to be curved. So this is no. The segments are not curved. And this isn't connected. So this is not a polygon. So one or A was yes, this figure is a polygon formed by four straight sides. This figure is not a polygon because the side is curved. And C is not a polygon because the sides don't connect. 
the polygons have to be straight and they have to be totally closed. They cannot be curved. For each type of polygon, write the number of sides, then sketch the polygon described. Well, we already know that a triangle has three sides. So, there's an example. A quadrilateral has four. Pentagon has five. Pentagons kind of look like houses a little bit. Hexagon has six. Can do this. Okay, not so bad. Heptagon has seven. Four, five, six. I think I got that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Octagon has eight, like a stop sign. Do your best. I think I got eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That makes eight. All right, so these we have to, you have to know these. So we got tri, quad, pent, hex, hept, oct. Decide whether the figure is a polygon. If so, tell what type. If not, explain why. Well, this is closed. So this is a yes. The figure is a polygon with four sides. And four sides is called a quadrilateral. This is all closed and straight. One, two, three, four, five sides. So it, if you look up here, five sides, it's called a pentagon. And this, this intersects more than, these sides are intersecting each other more than once. So that is not a polygon. This figure is not a polygon because the sides don't intersect at endpoints. They can't cross in the middle. They can only connect at the end. So C is not a polygon. Now if it would have looked like this, that would have been okay. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be a hexagon. But because those cross there, it doesn't count. Decide whether the figure is a polygon. If so, tell what type. If not, explain why. So this is just like example two that we just did. So first thing you're going to answer, is it a polygon? So that's a yes or no. If yes, tell what type. So using the words from above. If not, explain. That's what you're doing here. So go ahead and do this now. Quadrilateral. So we've talked about before we know that triangles have 180 degrees. So let's write that over here. Triangles equal 180. Now we're working with quads. So quads have four sides. How many degrees do quads have? Well, what I want you to do is I want you to cut this quad into two triangles. So this triangle has 180 degrees, and this triangle has 180 degrees. That must mean this whole shape has 180 plus 180, which is 360. There's 360 degrees in a quad. So triangles have 180, quadrilaterals have 360. All right, so here's where we, that we just did that. We divided it into two triangles. So we had 180 on top, 180 on bottom, 180 plus 180, 360. So triangles equal 180, quads equal 360. So here's an example. We need to find angle F. 
Well, this is the one, two, three, four. This is the quad. So there's 360 degrees. How many more degrees do we need? That's what we're looking for right there. So we know that all four of them added together equals 360. How many degrees do I already have? I already have 70. I already have 80. And I already have 70. That's a total of 220 degrees. So I already have 220 degrees. So if I need to get to 360, how much do I need? Well, I subtract 220 from this, I get 140 degrees. Right, if you want, in your calculator, you just take 360, subtract 70, subtract 80, subtract 70, and you get 140 degrees. So we're looking for 360. So this is just like example three. There's 360 degrees total. How much am I missing? That's what you're, how much are we missing in angle A? Do this now. That's all for today. This is M cubed signing out.